Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yeho, Yehoshua. This is Sounds from YYBY. So we got the Bitwig uh, 4.3 beta. And I'm about to break down. I'm about to go through the list to see what's available in this joint. I see some nice little treats they added up, added, add in here as we, as I see. All right, so let's let's get straight to the point. All right, the first thing is that the new features, they add flak files can now be directly played back across Bitwig in clips by sampler. Okay, so in the sampler, the sample sampler, you can play uh flak uh files now. I didn't even know that. I know you can drop the fact the flax in here. So you could play the uh you could play uh flak samples, uh because flak got you know good quality samples. Uh the next new feature is that uh sins can now be toggled on and off right here. Like if you go to the sins right here, what I got, you can select right here, you can toggle them on and off. You can toggle them on and off, and then you can also map control the toggle man you can map control the toggle that's dope whatever knobs you got on your keyboard shit i don't know other dogs gonna let you do that that's crazy also um what does it say click the name of any track slash channel send to toggle that send often on hold on click the name of Hold on, what, hold on. So what does it say again? It say click the name of any track channel. Send to toggle that send off and on. So I click the name of any. I don't know what they talking about on that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, you click right here on any one of them like this. And you could turn it off. That's that's cool. That's cool feature. That's cool feature. So instead of sliding all the way down here, you know, you can you can just turn that you know that certain one off if you don't want to use it. And they also saying that when you do that, that save also CPU power. They say new function disable all unused sins. Disable any unused sins in the project, which minimize CPU usage and latency. Uh, what else? Sends and new projects are now disabled until used by an initial knob turn. Okay, so sends and new projects are now disabled until used. So, I guess, okay, in new projects, I guess, we we'll go to a track. Oh, you could turn it off right this way too. You can turn it off this way also. I see they, they updated the auto knobs. The auto knobs look different now. They look different. They kind of like got more of like a 3D look and everything. That's cool. Uh all this got like a 3D look, you know. They, you know, it's a bit way we add and stuff, man. That's why I tell people like when you do that, uh how you do the uh the yearly thing, man, they add like a lot of features to their stuff consistently. So yeah, they added like 3D knobs and everything. I right, just keep going. Um new functions send new projects are now disabled until you use shift click any track channel send to toggle all sends. So if you shift if you press shift and click any tracks, okay. So if I hold this like this. And I do like this. That's what they talking about. Let me see. Let me make sure. Oh snap! So if I if I select if I select this track right, if I hold shift, it'll turn all these off. Now let me see if it'll try with multiple tracks like this. Now it it won't do it that way. Let me let me try this way. Let me see. Okay, let me let me go down to let me let me go to the uh the FX tracks. Okay, let 
Okay, you can turn them on and off that way. The same way. Another thing what I noticed, I don't know, maybe I missed this, but down here on each track, what is it on the tracks? No, it's not on the tracks. But on the the uh the FX tracks, you got the you got the numbers, you know, you got all the tracks, and you can you can raise the send right here. You can also right click and map control it from right here. And then you also got the you know the volumes of each one of these, and you can press this right here to close it and open it up. I, I didn't see that before. If y'all saw that before, let me know. But I didn't see that in, in the other version. But you can close it and open it up like that. So that, that comes in handy. Um, yeah, so that's dope. All right, let's keep going. What else? Improvements. They did an improvement in Linux. Uh, Debian package is available again for Ubuntu distributions in addition to the flat pack bundle. I don't know what that is, but maybe y'all know what that is. Uh, they also added support for compressed wave files, such as those not in PCM or float formats. They added support for compressed wave files. Let me see what they talk about. Let's go to export audio. Uh, maybe just like a, I guess a random. I don't know if any one of y'all noticed though, but in this version, or you know, the, the recent version or whatever version, I, I guess it, in four. I guess they, they did this in four. But I know you can export mo like different, you know, styles, you know, different formats. But you can actually export all these formats out at the same damn time. You know, you can select what you you want to select. Press export and export all these out at the same time. So that 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 comes in handy. That's great. But um, let's keep going. So let's see, adding support to compressed wave files such as those not in PCM or Float. Okay, adding an instrument to an audio track no longer forces conversion to a hybrid track. So adding an instrument to an audio track. Okay, so let's 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 uh. Let's go to let's go get an audio track, right? So let's 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 move all these out the way. Matter of fact, I'm just add an audio track right here. Now I'm just add audio track. Boom. So now if I add audio track, if I go get an instrument, and so I go get a device. You know, I'm gonna just get a regular organ. So. So, okay, so the instrument track, so it's, it's still, it don't turn into a hybrid track, okay? Um, that's interesting how that's gonna, I think that's great, that's gonna be dope, yo. That, that's, that's creative, because I, if, if I understand, is that I could still play an instrument like like I say, the hybrid tracks is where you can add MIDI and audio on the same track. So now you can play the instrument. Hold up, let me see how this. Adding an instrument to an audio track no longer forces conversion to a hybrid track. Whatever, yo. If anybody know how this can, you know, how this can, you know, uh, turn out, you know, work or whatever it is, the concept of this, let me know in the bottom. Write that down in the bottom because. This seemed interesting though. I gotta put I gotta wrap my head around it why you know you, you can put the VSC on there and it don't turn into a hybrid track, you know, because normally normally it do. So, you know, let me know that people. Uh let's keep going. Invoking the real name function on audio events will now open a dialogue to rename the audio file itself. Invoking <coughs> excuse me. They say invoking the invoking the rename function on audio events. So, so if I, if I got an audio sample, right? So let me let me move this out the way. So let me make sure I understand what it's saying. 
Invoking the rename function on an audio event will now open a dialog. Boom. Audio event. I know you can name it up here. I'm trying to make sure I understand what it's saying. Invoking the rename function on an audio event will now open a dialog to rename the audio file itself. Okay, let me let's see. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not, I don't know. Was I able to name that at first? Let me see, because I, if I name this dope, it'll just name the track. Let me try something right quick. Nah, that's not it. Nah, not that. Hmm. Invoking, invoking the rename function on an audio event would now open a dialog to rename the audio file itself. All right. Well, I think I did it. I'll find out later if I don't know then. All right, let's keep going. CC and grid module now has MIDI learn functionality for setting the CC mess message and channel to use. I'm going to read that again. CC and grid module now has MIDI learn functionality for setting the CC message and channel to use. Uh, also, layering editing of audio tracks no longer allows resizing the lanes when the auto size mode is on. It was too easy to do this accidentally. Okay, that's great. So, you know, in the layer mode, so that means if I got this track right here, uh, let's duplicate this right quick, you know, change it to another color. So we get these two right here, you know, where it's not. I got to turn layer mode on. I got right here. And no, hold on, I'm tripping. So I turn these two on. It's going through his moment, ain't it? It's bipolar. All right, so I guess they saying before D was, they was, uh, hold on, this the option right here? Okay, auto size. Oh, so you can turn auto size. Okay. So before. When this was on, I guess it was, hold on, let me make sure I read it. Layering editing of audio tracks no longer allow resizing the lanes when the auto size mode is on. Okay, so when it's on, you can't auto size the lanes. You know, that's great. You know, so you get both options, that's great. Because you want to fit certain stuff in there and all that. Yeah, when you're seeing a whole bunch of tracks, so that comes in handy. Nice. Uh, let's keep going. Added button to stop. An active trial phase. Added button to stop an active trial phase. I don't know what the hell that is, man. Active button to stop the trial phase. What? I don't know. If y'all know what that is, man, type it down at the bottom. Added added button to stop an active trial phase. I right, fix this. Delay plus device was now what well, was not forwarding notes to devices. Uh, convolution devices, window footer line now for start end times now display proper values, the union, uh, oscillator polymer grid module now has a remote control page, low pass MG polymer grid module input stage was noisy around the clip level. Um, no out. Grid module routing an envelope signal to the gain import expressions was creating a pop. They fixed that FX layer device solo state was not remembering when reloading a project. I hope they fixed that mute thing, man. The mute button. I'm gonna check that out because the mute thing was acting weird. Uh, clip launcher clips could drift out of time. With arrangement loop active. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, I think I remember having that problem. 
sliding clip content no longer affect track automation. So sliding clip content no longer affects, affects track automation. Reversing a clip no longer affects track automation, though. Audio events could get inserted in the same clip when moving a multi-selection and layered audio editor. So I'm going to read that again. Audio events could get inserted in the same clip when moving a multi-selection and layered audio editor, okay? Wrong loop region length could happen after consolidating a clip with an odd time signature. You know, y'all, you know, smart people, y'all know all that stuff that I just read, man. Um, hold on, what else they say? What else they got right here? Uh, 32 bit float wave files could be clipped on import. Okay, they was clipped on import, import, so they fixed that. Some corrupt wave files weren't loading. Glitches when drawing a spectrum display in certain modes. Notes with uh, velocities below. Uh, thirty nine percent were not being sent to VSTs anymore. Uh, what to say was crashing when scrolling scene on the controller while mix what? What the hell was crashing when scrolling scenes on the controller while mixer panel was visible, but the clip launcher was hidden. I don't know what the hell that is. Fixed a crash with an error message when renaming a file. Okay. Windows crash in certain circumstances when a spectrum display is shown on a AVX processor. Okay. They own it, man. They fixing bugs at the same time. So, but yeah, but the main thing, you know, they, 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 they did a good job fixing bugs, man. I'm going to definitely test more of these bugs out. So, I just wanted to put the news out there for all the people. Um, uh, let me see. But yeah, you know, the, the new features is the flack and the, and the send stuff. Which is great. That that's that. I like that. I like the the sin stuff. I like the sin stuff and all that. Hold up. Where's this always down here? Let me see. Let me let me go inside. I might be tripping. Let me let me open up my uh my original version. Let me open up this man. I think that was already there. I might be, I might be tripping. Hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see now. Bear with me, people. Yeah, yeah, that was already there. Okay, I thought it was. I'm like, hold up, man. Like, that was there, that was there. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's great. That's cool, that's cool. All right, so let me go back to... Four point three beta three. Uh, did I miss anything, people? Uh, I think that was it. Let me see. And instruments and delays. So yeah, that was that was it for right now on the beta, man. And more to come, I'm sure. They in a bag right now, like they always, you know. So if y'all have any questions or anything that I said on here that you didn't understand. Type it down at the bottom, you know, and I try my best to explain. Uh, this is YYBY. Thanks.